guys welcome to simplified coding and in this video we will learn about firebase real time database so if you have seen my previous video tutorial series then i teach you about php mysql and android so if you talk about mysql then it is a database it is an sql database where we store data in tabular format for example you can consider these two tables the first one is artist and the other one is track so in artist table we have artist id name and genre so we have rows and we have columns each column identifies a particular field and each row contains a data in this particular table the artist id is primary key primary key uniquely identifies each row so it should be unique and each artist can contain many tracks so for storing the tracks we create another table you can see it here and these this track table stores the track of every artist so both these tables are connected for connecting the tables in sql database we use foreign key so here it is a primary key and a foreign key is a key which is a primary key in another table so you can see artist id here is a foreign key and this artist id is a primary key in this artist table so we store data in sql database like this but if we talk about firebase real time database then it stores data in json tree structure so it does not uses the tabular format to store data so the firebase real time database is more flexible so let's see how we can model the same these two tables in firebase database so you can see the json tree again we have artists and we have tracks now you can consider this as a primary key for artist node so we have artist id1 artist id2 and inside it we are storing the, all the values that are required and we also have a tracks node and this artist id1 can be considered as a foreign key here so i hope you got the basic information about firebase real time database now we will see how we can perform the create data read data update data and delete data operations in our android project so we will open android studio so we have our blank android studio project now we will add firebase to it so for this go to tools and click on firebase now it will open up an assistant and you can see here all the firebase features so select real time database and click this blue link save and retrieve data now first we will connect to firebase application in firebase console so click on this button and it will open up a connection dialog now you can create a new firebase project or you can also choose an existing firebase project so i am connecting to my firebase application then we need to add real time database to our application so click here and accept the changes and it will sync your project with gradle and then firebase will be added now come inside activity underscore main dot xml and remove this hello world here we will create edit text spinner and a button so create an edit text and an spinner and a button now change the ids so it should be edit text name for our test name and spinner would be spinner generates to select the generate and then the button would be button add our test now change the text of the button to add artist as well and it would be match parent and 
for name remove the text and put a hint enter name and it would also be match parent enter name that's it so we have added text and we have spinner now let's fill the spinner with some values for this go to strings.xml and here define an array so define an array and name it generates and put all the items that you want to display on the spinner so i'm giving rock sufi pop folk now that's it for the example and for spinner entries we will write array and then generates we have the generates here now come to main activity and define the view objects so we have edit text we have a button and we have a spinner now we will get these values from xml using find view by id now we will attach a click listener to the button now define a method name private void add artist now here first we will get the artist name and generate now generate now we will check if the name is filled or not so if it is not true text titles is empty name that means if the name is not empty and if it is empty we will display a toast that you should enter a name now if it is not empty then we will store it to firebase database so the basic code structure is ready we just need to call the add artist method here on click now to store the value we need to get a firebase database reference also we need to create a model class to store all the attributes of our artist so let's create it first so we will create a new class and name it artist and we have artist name and artist genre with an artist id so we have artist id name and genre now we will define a blank constructor it is very important as this constructor is used while reading the values now we will generate a new constructor one more constructor that will initialize our variables our strings now we need getters as well the getters will be used while reading the values so we have the getters and we have the constructors now come to main activity and we will create a database reference object so we will write database reference database our tests now we will get the reference database artist equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and we will pass our test now you can leave it blank it is not necessary to pass a parameter but if you will not pass the parameter as the path then you will get the reference of the root node of your json tree from firebase database but for now we need the artist node that's why i'm passing artists now we need to create a unique id for our artist for this we can use the push method of firebase database 
so we'll write database artist dot push and it will create a unique string inside this artists and using the get key we can get this string so we will store it inside a string id and now we can create a new artist so we have id and we have name and we have gender now we can use the set value method to store this artist into firebase database so we will write database artists dot set value and we will pass the artist but we can do it like this as we have to store the artist inside this id that is uniquely generated so we will write database artist dot child and we will pass the id and then inside it we will set the value artist now if we will again set the value inside this artist then set value will override the artist so every time it will generate a unique id and inside that id it will store the artist now we can display a toast artist added so if we will pass the same id always the values will be getting overwritten but the id is generated uniquely so every time the id generated will be unique so every time a new node will be created inside the artist node and inside that node the artist will be stored now let's see and you will get it so play it and meanwhile we also need to change the database rules as before default rules only allows authenticated users to read or write to firebase database but we haven't done any authentication in our application so for now i am making it public for every user and remember you should not use these rules on production level application as you don't want anyone to access your data now let's check it let's put atif aslam and click add artist so we got artist added and you can see a new node is generated here with a unique id now let's add one more artist and you can see a new node is generated so every time you will add an artist a new node is generated here and the artist will be added inside that node so that's it for this video we learned the first part that is creating the data in firebase database so in the next video we will learn how we can fetch the all the artist from firebase database and uh, if you are having any confusions or troubles you can leave your comments and please like the video and subscribe to my channel and also share this video on your social network to reach it as more audience so i will see you in the next video